So I'm going to show you how to calculate an average daily balance um, for a credit card. And this is problem number 20 out of chapter 2 or problem set 2 out of the textbook. Um, so they've given us a list of how many days somebody's credit card had a certain balance. And you can see how it went up and then how it went down. And then, so how does the credit card company calculate what your charges are going to be for interest? Well, you do know you pay it off every month after you made the charges. You don't pay anything, um, which is the way to do it. But if you do have to let it carry over, this is what they're going to do. They're going to multiply it. And this is just an average. This is just a weighted mean. So I want to multiply each of these numbers, the, frequent, the value times the frequency. How long did that value last? So I, just so I don't have to do that all by hand, which is the power of a spreadsheet, I'm going to write equals to let the computer know that I'm going to do a formula. I'm going to click on the 1200, and then I'm going to shift 8 to get a time symbol, and then I'm going to click on the 6. And notice what this formula is doing is just multiplying the number that the 1200 cell times a 6 cell, and it gives me the answers. And I could type that again again, but the beauty of a spreadsheet is select that first cell, Put your cursor so it's on that little little square there and it turns to a plus sign and you can just fill down and if you click on each of those cells you see what it did okay did all that multiplication so now the next step in finding a average daily balance is we have to add the sum of the frequencies i'm going to do equals sum this is how many days is in this billing period Okay, which is 30. Oh, let me change the font right here. That'll only take a minute. Okay, and then I have to do the sum of the frequency. Since I've, I could type that sum in, in already, but if I just fill this over, like I did before, go to the plus sign, drag it over. Whoops, uh, <laughs> supposed to work. There we go. See how that added to the sum of those numbers? And to get the average daily balance, you take the sum of the values times the frequencies divided by the number of days in this case. So equals, I'm going to click on that sum, divided by the 30, and that's the average daily balance for this credit card. Okay. So that's, that's I'm not giving anything away by doing this problem for you, so I'll leave problem B for somebody to change that and, and, I'll, and I'll put this spreadsheet up online so that you and with links to it so that you can use it um, to, to do part B and then you can share your work with us. So I hope that helps you figure out how to do a weighted mean plus how to do an average daily balance.